a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Sildan Arfil Sildan Arfil, sold as the brand name Viagra among others, is a medication used to treat erectile dysfunction and pulmonary arterial hypertension. Its effectiveness for treating sexual dysfunction in women has not been demonstrated. Common side effects include headaches and heartburn, as well as flushed skin. Caution is advised in those who have cardiovascular disease. Rare, but serious side effects include prolonged erections, which can lead to damage to the penis, and sudden onset hearing loss. Sildenafil should not be taken by people who take nitrates such as nitroglycerin, as this may result in a severe and potentially fatal drop in blood pressure. Sildenafil acts by inhibiting CGMP-specific phosphodiesterase type 5, an enzyme that promotes degradation of CGMP, which regulates blood flow in the penis. Pfizer scientists Andrew Bell, David Brown, and Nicola Sturridge originally discovered sildenafil as a treatment for various cardiovascular disorders. Since becoming available in 1998, sildenafil has been a common treatment for erectile dysfunction. Its primary competitors are tadalafil and vardenafil. Pulmonary hypertension While sildenafil improves some markers of disease in people with pulmonary arterial hypertension, it does not appear to affect the risk of death or serious side effects. Altitude sickness Sildenafil appears to improve some risk factors for high-altitude pulmonary edema, but it is unclear whether or not it affects the rate of the condition itself. Adverse effects In clinical trials, the most common adverse effects of sildenafil use included headache, flushing, indigestion, nasal congestion, and impaired vision, including photophobia and blurred vision. Some sildenafil users have complained of seeing everything tinted blue, some complained of blurriness and loss of peripheral vision. In July 2005, the FDA found that sildenafil could lead to vision impairment in rare cases and a number of studies have linked sildenafil use with non-arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. Rare but serious adverse effects found through post-marketing surveillance include prolonged erections, severe low blood pressure, myocardial infarction, ventricular arrhythmias, stroke, increased intraocular pressure, and sudden hearing loss. In October 2007, the FDA announced that the labeling for all PDE5 inhibitors, including sildenafil, required a more prominent warning of the potential risk of sudden hearing loss. Interactions Care should be exercised by people who are also taking protease inhibitors for the treatment of HIV infection. Protease inhibitors inhibit the metabolism of sildenafil, effectively multiplying the plasma levels of sildenafil, increasing the incidence and severity of side effects. Those using protease inhibitors are recommended to limit their use of sildenafil to no more than 125 mg dose every 48 hours. Other drugs that interfere with the metabolism of sildenafil include erythromycin and cimetidine, both of which can also lead to prolonged plasma half-life levels. The use of sildenafil and an alpha-1 blocker at the same time may lead to low blood pressure, but this effect does not occur if they are taken at least four hours apart. Recreational use Sildenafil's popularity with young adults has increased over the years. Sildenafil's trade name Viagra, is widely recognized in popular culture, and the drug's association with treating erectile dysfunction has led to its recreational use. The reasons behind such use include the belief that the drug increases libido, improves sexual performance, or permanently increases penis size. Studies on the effects of Viagra when used recreationally are limited, but suggest it has little effect when used by those not suffering from erectile dysfunction. In one study, a 25 mg dose was shown to cause no significant change in erectile quality, but did reduce the post-ejaculatory refractory time. This study also noted a significant placebo effect in the control group. Unprescribed recreational use of sildenafil and other PDE5 inhibitors is noted as particularly high among users of illegal drugs. Sildenafil is sometimes used to counteract the effects of other substances, often illicit. Some users mix it with methylene dioxymethamphetamine, other stimulants, or opiates in an attempt to compensate for the common side effect of erectile dysfunction. 
a combination known as sextasy, rockin' and rollin', or trail mix. Mixing with amyl nitrite is particularly dangerous and potentially fatal. Jet lag research The 2007 Ig Nobel Prize in Aviation went to Patricia V. Agostino, Santiago A. Plano, and Diego A. Golombek of Universidad Nacional de Quilmes, Argentina, for their discovery that sildenafil helps treat jet lag recovery in hamsters. Sports Professional athletes have been documented using sildenafil, believing the opening of their blood vessels will enrich their muscles. In turn, they believe it will enhance their performances. Analogues Acetildenafil and other synthetic structural analogues of sildenafil which are PDE5 inhibitors have been found as adulterants in a number of herbal aphrodisiac products are sold over the counter. These analogues have not undergone any of the rigorous testing that drugs like sildenafil have passed, and thus have unknown side effect profiles. Some attempts have been made to ban these drugs, but progress has been slow so far, as even in those jurisdictions that have laws targeting designer drugs, the laws are drafted to ban analogues of illegal drugs of abuse, rather than analogues of prescription medicines. However, at least one court case has resulted in a product being taken off the market. The US FDA has banned numerous products claiming to be Uricoma longifolia that, in fact, contain only analogues of sildenafil. Sellers of such fake herbals typically respond by just changing the names of their products. Mechanism of Action Sildenafil protects cyclic guanosine monophosphate from degradation by CGMP-specific phosphodiesterase type 5 in the corpus cavernosum. Nitric oxide in the corpus cavernosum of the penis binds to guanylate cyclase receptors, which results in increased levels of CGMP, leading to smooth muscle relaxation of the intimal cushions of the helicine arteries. This smooth muscle relaxation leads to vasodilation, an increased inflow of blood into the spongy tissue of the penis, causing an erection. Robert F. Furchgat, Ferid Murad, and Louis Ignero won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1998 for their independent study of the metabolic pathway of nitric oxide in smooth muscle vasodilation. Sildenafil is a potent and selective inhibitor of CGMP-specific phosphodiesterase type 5, which is responsible for degradation of CGMP in the corpus cavernosum. The molecular structure of sildenafil is similar to that of CGMP and acts as a competitive binding agent of PDE5 in the corpus cavernosum, resulting in more CGMP and better erections. Without sexual stimulation, and therefore lack of activation of the no-slash-CGMP system, sildenafil should not cause an erection. Other drugs that operate by the same mechanism include tadalafil and vardenafil. Sildenafil is broken down in the liver by hepatic metabolism using cytochrome P450 enzymes, mainly Cyp453A4, but also by Cyp2C9 hepatic isoenzymes. The major product of metabolization by these enzymes is N-desmethylated sildenafil, which is metabolized further. This metabolite also has an affinity for the parade receptors, about 40% of that of sildenafil. Thus, the metabolite is responsible for about 20% of sildenafil's action. Sildenafil is excreted as metabolites predominantly in the feces and to a lesser extent in the urine. If taken with a high-fat meal, absorption is reduced. The time taken to reach the maximum plasma concentration increases by around one hour, and the maximum concentration itself is decreased by nearly one-third. History Sildenafil was synthesized by a group of pharmaceutical chemists working at Pfizer's Sandwich, Kent, research facility in England. It was initially studied for use in hypertension and angina pectoris. The first clinical trials were conducted in Morriston Hospital in Swansea. Phase I clinical trials under the direction of Iono Stilo suggested the drug had little effect on angina, but it could induce marked penile erections. Pfizer therefore decided to market it for erectile dysfunction, rather than for angina. This decision became an often cited example of drug repositioning. The drug was patented in 1996, approved for use in erectile dysfunction by the FDA on March 27, 1998, becoming the first oral treatment approved to treat erectile dysfunction in the United States, and offered for sale in the United States later that year.
It soon became a great success. Annual sales of Viagra peaked in 2008 at 1.934 billion US dollars. The British press portrayed Peter Dunn and Albert Wood as the inventors of the drug, but only Andrew Bell, David Brown, and Nicholas de Ritalis did on the original composition of matter patent. Marketing and Sales In the US even though Seldenafil is available only by prescription from a doctor, it was advertised directly to consumers on TV. Numerous sites on the internet offer Viagra for sale after an online consultation, often a simple web questionnaire. The Viagra name has become so well known, many fake aphrodisiacs now call themselves Herbal Viagra, or are presented as blue tablets imitating the shape and color of Pfizer's product. Viagra is also informally known as Vitamin V, the Blue Pill, or Blue Diamond as well as various other nicknames. In 2000, Viagra sales accounted for 92% of the global market for prescribed erectile dysfunction pills. By 2007, Viagra's global share had plunged to about 50% due to several factors, including the entry of Cialis and Levitra, along with several counterfeits and clones, and reports of vision loss in people taking PDE5 inhibitors. In February 2007, it was announced that Boots, the UK pharmacy chain, would try over-the-counter sales of Viagra in stores in Manchester, England. Men between the ages of 30 and 65 would be eligible to buy four tablets after a consultation with a pharmacist. On May 6, 2013, Pfizer, which manufactures Viagra, told the Associated Press they will begin selling the drug directly to patients on its website. Pfizer's patents on Viagra expired outside the US in 2012. In the US they were set to expire, but Pfizer settled litigation with each of Mylan and Teva which agreed that both companies could introduce generics in the US on December 11, 2017. In December 2017, Pfizer released its own generic version of Viagra. Counterfeits Counterfeit Viagra, despite generally being cheaper, can contain harmful substances or substances that affect how Viagra works, such as blueprint ring, amphetamines, metronidazole, boric acid, and rat poison. Viagra is one of the world's most counterfeited medicines. According to a Pfizer study, around 80% of sites claiming to sell Viagra were selling counterfeits. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?